Here on Campus Unmasked, we cover bias at college every day. But remember that the indoctrination doesn't just happen in the classroom. Harvard University's chaplain apparently gave a sermon claiming that Jesus broke down border walls. Strap yourselves in because this is going to be a crazy one. Let me introduce you to Carrie Maloney, who teaches ministry studies at Harvard and also serves as the school's director of religious and spiritual life and chaplain. You would think that if any person was apolitical and tried to unite instead of divide, it would be the university chaplain. But that turns out not to be the case. About a week after the truth about the Covington Catholic incident came out, Carrie delivered a sermon at Harvard's Tuesday morning Eucharist, in which she claimed that the Covington kids surrounded an elderly indigenous American man on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, chanting Make America Great Again, menacing him, and taunting him in racially charged ways. The chaplain called the event a harrowing snapshot of white supremacy. Now if this seems completely unhinged, remember that Carrie bears a striking resemblance to the feminist Big Red. Physiognomy isn't always that far off, my dudes. Anyways, Carrie continued saying, I confess that I was one of the people who read Nick Sandman's smirk as proxy for the smug triumphalism over, defiant disdain for, and unapologetic disrespect of people of color and of all racially and sexually non-conforming people, even, even, of the holy elders in those communities. Wow, and the best part of this Harvard chaplain's homily is that this is her analysis a week after the humiliation of other people who ran with the evil white Trump kids narrative. And yeah, she mentions the black Hebrew Israelites, but most of the rant is, hey guys, this was my impression, and while it might not be factually correct, it sure does strike a chord with what I feel. But the best, or perhaps the worst, part of Carrie's sermon is this next bit. She says, Jesus and the early disciples had a great deal to say about families. Usually, leave them. Make new ones. Follow me. Today's gospel is no different if a bit less stark. Here we find Jesus once again breaking down the great border walls of his own day, redefining and reconfiguring the all-determinate bonds of ancient family life. If Jesus' apparent denial of his birth family in this text seems harsh, his embrace of the new order he declares is gloriously healing, and utterly revolutionary. Yeah, that's right, Jesus is a revolutionary who would have totally supported tearing down walls. Bible study isn't sending their best, folks. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshaw. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.